What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. So we are at the house and uh, today we're going to be working on the 8th gen. Um, I, do, we're, I do have some things coming up for it that you guys do not want to miss. So first, first and foremost, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel. That really helps me out a lot and it allows me to do some more cool things for you guys. And I got a lot of things in the works. But for today, we are going to be installing a new throttle body onto my uh, my eighth gen and raising the car up. As long as, along with installing headlights on my mom's Toyota Camry. Uh, I haven't touched her Camry in a couple years, so uh, it's going to be a nice change of pace to go ahead and work on that again. So, uh, without further ado, go ahead and tune in. Alright, so I've had my throttle body for a while. Uh, I don't know if I ever showed it though, but this is a J35 um, a throttle body. I went ahead and added the adapter to it and I had just got the gasket for it yesterday from K-Tune. Uh, this is a thermal uh, throttle body gasket for the J35 to, in order to burn down on uh, my Civic right over there. Uh, it's not. I'm not sure if the oil one will work, but I went ahead and got this. It's a good, it's a good one to use. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Uh, and these are the new headlights from my mom. Nothing special. Uh, oil, just an oil replacement. I just gotta make sure they fit and whatnot. But I think they will. So, and it's coincidentally these doing headlights is the last thing I did to that car um, so that's what will also be getting done so let's go ahead and hop to it all right got both cars pulled in got the Civic all moved over so I can have some room to jack the car up I'm gonna put this car on all four jack stands because this car is going to require more work so it's gonna be my priority to do more like work on this some then do some work here do some here I call it doing the Firestone way because I used to do work on two cars at the same time so over here you have a, the infamous K20 Z3 then you come right over here we have a nice four cylinder four cylinder VVTi um, which is the same technology as a Honda believe it or not but uh, yeah so this car is getting headlights and I'm pinging a plate on it and I am doing a throttle body, which is this right here. I'm doing the throttle body and raising the car. I do want to raise it up probably by an inch. I do want to raise it up an inch. That's going to hurt my soul, but it's going to be required of me to do so. Uh, I'm not rubbing or anything. It's something y'all going to see in a very, very near future video. Um, but... I gotta raise the car up in order to take care of that stuff. So we got a lot of work to do today, but it's gotta get done. Uh, that's the name of the game. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, all right, so got the car all jacked up, all around. She's floating in the air. So, what I'm about to do now is zap off the wheels. I'm going to do that first. Like I said, this car requires more work than this car. This car is fairly simple. Even though I've never done this particular job on this car before, still the same principle. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and zap the wheels off this. And I'll be able to have access to all coilovers on all four sides. Um, I do not have to take it out. I know some do, but I'm not doing that. Uh, I'm just gonna race it how it is. If I have to do it in the rear, then so be it. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the wheels off, and then I'm gonna go ahead and moving the bumper off of this. All right, so I got the bumper off of the Camry, and this is my first time ever seeing it without one. Uh, period. Uh, so we have a couple bolts right here. I right, took the one off up there. Um, this video doesn't really focus on the Camry really. Um, 
but uh, yeah, I'm just working on two cards at the same time. But as I was trying to get to, uh, we have to have to in, this in, have to uninstall the intake portion uh, of this, which is like really easy to do because once it's like loose, I can just it just moves around right the way. However, before you start doing anything of this sort, you can just go ahead and disconnect the intake, disconnect the battery after you do that. Because once the car has to relearn the throttle body because it is not drive by wire, it is electric. Um, so you have to disconnect the battery and then I'll show you what to do once you go from there. Uh, so don't trip about that. So. I'm about to go ahead and uh, go ahead and loosen this up so I can go ahead and dis uh, disconnect the battery and then we can go ahead and get started with the removal of the throttle body. And I think this is where it's probably going to bite me in the butt is because of how short I cut, <laughs> uh, how short I cut the, um, the coolant hose. But um, hopefully I can get another one. I do, I would like to re, I would like to uh, retry doing this. Um, just make it look nicer. Uh, because as you see all the other ones are uniform there's literally perfect no gap no slack or just it looking like it's like really tight up in there so that's what we're trying to avoid so I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this and update you guys in a bit all right so I had to rewatch the video how to do it but uh, pretty much you don't have to disconnect the battery right off the bat but uh, I do have to uh, take off the little coolant hose at the bottom it doesn't appear to be leaking so that's really good can't really see it down here but it don't look like it's leaking so I think I did a good job um, nevertheless uh, got to disconnect these there's a lot of shit over here bro there you go cap too but, um, go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the throttle body uh, and whatever lines I have to. This line, however, goes into the adapter. Uh, that does make sense. Uh, so, yeah, slowly but surely, I'm gonna figure this out. Uh, update, update you guys along the way. This isn't really a DIY. This isn't a, a DIY uh, tutorial how to do this. I'm just working on my car along with this car. <laughs> so, uh, don't get butt hurt if um, I'm not really giving you the best details. This is my first time, so I'm going to add some of it. Uh, pretty much, if pretty much if I don't know how to do something, I want to make sure I share it with you guys because I do feel like knowledge is to be shared um, to some extent. Uh, so these will be 12 mils. Make sure you disconnect that sensor back there that little plug right there with the red on it uh your two coolant hoses and i think one of them is a vacuum hose um and if you don't have i do suggest getting one of these um drain pans uh just in case coolant spills i do have extra um so i can refill the car if need be but i really don't want to do all that and you know what but uh that's really all there is to it 12 mils take take this hose off disconnect that sensor those two so, um, hoses on the bottom D uh, go ahead and screw this and boom this it's real straightforward in my opinion with frogs cold night and the winter how cold sorry that i fall away sometimes sorry that i fall away sometimes yeah yeah the end got to end it all on the weekend Sorry that I feel that way sometimes Sorry that I feel that way sometimes Oh, oh, yeah You don't really wanna know me Hanging in the corner with a nose yeah. High on whatever they saw me That's the old me, yeah Six years later trying to find me Still trying to figure out the line Peace, looking for the love inside me
Okay, so I got uh, the thyroid body out. Um, I did end up spilling a little bit of coolant. Uh, try your best not to do, do too much of that. But um, what I did was before I even uh, before even trying to install this, I measured the inlets, these the whole the circle right here to this one. It's slightly bigger. It's slightly bigger. I think the J37 might even be bigger than this. And I will be going to a J37 in the future, but not at the moment. This is all I have. The deal came up and I hopped on it. So, as you guys know, the car makes 208. Now, my prediction, I don't expect this to make too big of a difference, but I think it'll at least make 210. Um, I think it'll make 210 with the thought about it. This car will be getting tuned um, on J35 uh, thought body cold air intake and see what it does for uh for youtube purposes and we're going to see how well it performs on the street and i want to go back on 17s too <laughs> it was a lot of fun on 17s so i'm um, gonna go ahead and install this and get started all right so i got the first headlight in on the camry boy and the camera that looks amazing and then this is what the other side looks like but good lord that's icy um so i'm gonna be finishing this up shortly but right now i am uh adding the hoses and whatnot and i realized i'm going to need a hose clamp for this hose right here uh in order for that to sit tightly on that the uh whatever they decided to use i don't even know what you want to call that it doesn't tight keep that tight at all um so hose clamp it is is easy to service anyway so i do i do like that aspect of it but anyway uh, i did i went ahead and disconnected the battery and you guys can see the terminals down here so what you want to do or what i've seen is you have to uh touch both these terminals together and they have to stay together for five minutes uh so i'm gonna zip tie them together for five minutes and i'm going to come back reinstall it and I do have to go ahead and run the hoses. Um, I'm a, I do have to uh, run the hoses real quick. As you guys can see, I don't have them attached yet. So I'm probably going to do that first before I do anything else. But other than that, it's a real straightforward process. Alright, it is some time later. Um, so I did manage to get both cars somewhat done. I got the throttle body in Nura installed and i got the headlights for uh, my mom's car which is uh her name is goldilocks uh, we managed to get uh both i managed to get both of these done um all i gotta do left is raise the car and bleed and uh let the car warm up for like the whole coolant stuff because yet again pour too much they had to drain some pour some back in and I think there's now a bug in my coolant system and I could ever catch a break but anyway uh, I'm gonna put this car back to where it belongs and then uh, yeah, I think that's will be part one of this video all right so after it rained last night this is what it looks like we have the thought about it installed Let's focus it here so yeah I have to have I need to get a hose clamp for this, uh, for this vacuum hose right here, uh, and the two coolant hoses on the bottom, uh, and I might have to re-bleed the coolant, but other than that, this is how it's done, and make sure you install it positive um, terminal first, when disconnecting your battery, and, uh, and putting the terminals back on, after waiting for 5 minutes, positive first. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and make this uh, the first part of this video. Um, the next part is going to be doing the suspension, which I am currently working on right now. So if you guys want to, um, so if you guys uh, don't mind, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Uh, subscribe for more content like this, and stay tuned for the next video on raising uh, my SI. And we're just going to have a lot of fun. So. Stay tuned, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. If life's not great, it's good to make it back. That's what we're about. Peace.